Hi, welcome back from that short breather. Today, I want us to talk about the character Rahul. He's such a two-faced person. And I wish I could just squeeze the breath out of him. But hey, I guess my guest will help me do that. And today, I have Elijah here. And also, ever black and beautiful Asaibia. Oh. <laughs> you're welcome thank, thank you. you you're all looking cool oh well look you look gorgeous as yeah well, you so. do and thank you for allowing us into your homes as always um oh hmm. baby <laughs> okay so today, <laughs> as i said we're going to be talking about rahul the character rahul, mm -hmm. how he, he's such a traitor Big one. and then now he's been time where he comes face to face with death that he wishes for manu and he is there trying to run away. Mm -hmm. What would you have done if you have a friend like him? You know, I think uh, he's he's just a coward, mm -hmm. and cowards die many times before they are dead. Okay, and he, we could we could tell from today's episode. Some two slaps, he, you know, <laughs> and he deserved it. He deserved it and more. I feel when we, we we live in times where we have a lot of people like that in our lives, mm -hmm. in school, at home, even our churches, you have a lot of people that would smile to your face, but behind you would be saying stubbing stuff and you. stubbing you. Okay, huh? So I think people like that, we should just be careful. We should be careful because they, they are out to destroy. Mm -hmm. And just like uh, the, the devil, that's, that's his scheme. They don't, they don't come to you with uh, the, the fact that, or they don't bring it to you that they don't like you. They come with a different approach mm -hmm. and make you feel like they, they are with you, they've got your back. But honestly, when they get you, they will deal with you big time. Hmm. Great. Asari, we are, you're welcome. Today's your mm. first time, but I'm glad yeah. I have you. How would you handle a friend like Rahul? Hmm. So, you see, the, the, the fact is that we all have such, as he said, we all yeah. have such people in our okay. lives. And having such a person in your life is like pouring water into a basket. It's like, whatever you do, you never know that this person who is in your close circles and who knows you very well is stabbing you in the back. And you see, the interesting thing is that if we should pay attention, mm -hmm. we will notice such people in our lives. Asaribia. These are people who, when they come close to you, they are all smiling and all yes. that. But behind you is what they do, what they do. Yes. How would you be able to tell that this is somebody who is someone I should Look, just trust me, away with? As I said, if we pay attention mm -hmm. to the people around us very well, we will notice them. Trust me. I mean, yes, some of give them me one, give are me difficult. One sign. Give me one <laughs> because, sign. Because, you see, this person for instance, comes mm -hmm. to you and talks about everybody else exactly. with you. Exactly. The, the tendency is that the person is talking about you to other people as well. That's very common. Exactly. Yeah. So right. if you're in a company of such a person, the person is always talking about somebody else and especially talking to you about intimate or, or secretive things that other people have confided Shared in him with, or her yeah. about and the person is telling you about it oh trust me yours is outside hi <laughs> you know, I, I, beg, I beg to differ a little because okay. we, we we have a lot of people like that but you can tell you can actually tell when someone has been hypocritical with you mm -hmm. for example i can come here and act like i like you yeah right i'm laughing and saying all the nice things about you or maybe i just walk out me. great i just walk out of the studio and i go and sit somewhere and start to say stuff about me you chin, you great you get it <laughs> <laughs> that's something that happens it happens to all of us so uh I'll support her on one end and beg to differ because mm. uh you would you would see them with uh, the nice approach and everything but there's always that factor that you can't get to decipher that that person is not good in your circle. There's always the time where they come to you and make you feel like, even as you said, they discuss people with you. Exactly. For example, girls, girls, and uh, maybe even it happens with boys, boys. You were chatting about another friend. For you, you feel maybe it's just a discussion you're having. You wouldn't well. actually go deeper to feel like, okay, sure, this is somebody I, I also share stuff with. But just like she said, we live in times where people believe that when someone is actually speaking more of people to you, it's the same thing mm -hmm. that a person is doing. Mm -hmm. But I also want to say it, it depends on the kind of person you're dealing with. You have some people you have discussions with and, it's, it's, and they talk about other people, but it's not like they take yours out. Mm -hmm. And we have people that are like that. So with instances like this, it is hard to tell who is being fake or who is being real with you. Because look, no, imagine... no, sorry, yeah, I mean, in a way I would want, I, I mean, I don't want to say mm. I want to side with her, mm -hmm. but you know, mm -hmm. It's, it's always like this. Our best friends mm. also have best, best friends. friends. Yeah, that, that's so in true. such cases, how do you deal with it? Before mm. you answer mm. that, let me invite our viewers in. Please join us via our social media handles. Um, Facebook, you can find us on Facebook official. And I'm going to read all your comments before we go from 
Joy Prime Official on Facebook as well as Instagram. So I'll read all your comments. Go ahead. You see, imagine that you have a friend. You've had the, you've been friends with a person for, I won't go far, like two years. Okay. Okay. And this person is, as I said, uh, discusses other people with you or, you know, comes to you and smiles to you and all the time. And the person leaves you and says, ah, she didn't even look at it. It's not looking like Do you think that in the space of two years, nobody mm -hmm. that the person has commented about you two will come and tell you about it? You See, don't think that you never, you don't think you ever hear about it somewhere? You know, you know, sometimes you can be with people that, mm. You trust them so much that you give them all the benefits of the doubt that you even may hear it and then you were like, oh, I'm not sure she or he will yeah, say that, true. you know? Even, you know why yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm quite not getting her point? It's because You're even your mother, yes I'm, not, yes, I'm not agreeing with her. It's because even your mother can be in such a situation. It happens. Mm -hmm. We live in times where your mother can actually be against you. She doesn't like you, but to your face, she smiles. So it happens in certain homes where maybe a father or a mother is on, on, on the side of always trying to paint the, the kids bad to one of the spouses. Or it, it, it's vice versa. It cuts across. So I keep seeing this thing of hypocrisy. It's, it's something that is everywhere. So let me it's read everywhere. this comment coming from Gloria Rich Lab. Sefa Ko, a countryman. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it says, I am so angry right now. See the, see the joy in the faces of some Jansi citizens whilst they gladly block the secret entrance of the palace. You know, mm -hmm. while she's trying so hard yeah. to, to, I mean, bring joy to the people, the same people are actually stopping her. Hmm. How would you handle this if you were Manu? I mean, hmm. uh... I, I don't even know <laughs> because as I said, it's like pouring water into a basket. Well, it would never get filled. Everything you have, all your efforts. I mean, look in such a situation like mm -hmm. this, the very people that you're killing yourself for, oh, they're the same people killing you. And <laughs> Tali, this is where we say Christianity is hard <laughs> because you're supposed to love these people and, and love you. forgive 70 times seven. seven. Okay. But Tali, it's not easy. Hmm. I get, I get, I, get, I, get, I, I, I just think uh, she's, she's actually still in the night with all of that. But I, I love, I love the fact that uh, just like she said, we need to forgive people 77 times seven, like the Bible stated. Yeah. And so for me, so I the think, Bible says, yes. So, no, I, so, so hallelujah. for how long would you continue to allow people to hurt you knowing very well that this is the person that is hurting me? This is the person killing me, but I just have to forgive because the Bible says I, I have to. And you know, the mm. same Bible says another thing like uh, when your left arm or your right arm is like... Um, I, so, yes. you should, you should. so me, I believe I believe you can actually cut people out. When you think mm, you've had yeah. it to that, the point where you can take it no more, you need to cut them out. That doesn't mean you need to hate exactly. them, but you need to cut them out. I think that forgiveness is, is about... I mean, yes, forgive, but you don't allow the people in the same space where they can hurt you again. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so let me read this from Prince. Forgive me if I crucify your name. <laughs> <laughs> Prince, Ben claim Bulus. Hey, <laughs> everyone has a weak point. That is what I have learned from today's um, episode. I can't wait to see Nelson, what Nelson will be doing to his family. See, yes, we all have our weak point. Mm. But does that mean that you should always... Um, munch on my weak point to fight me instead of helping me as a friend. That's what the enemy does. If you have a friend that is not actually your friend, but it's okay. in your circle, like she stated, mm. they always want to dwell on your weak points to get you. For example, I'm, I'm friends with Daniela and I might be a thief and she knows. Like I had stolen something some years back. Okay. And maybe uh, she has that against me. So in the course of any argument where she feels like she can actually nail me, and she goes like, do you, have, you, have you forgotten you stole some time? Like, do you get it? And now, okay. the, the person reminds you of things you have done in the past and its, it's, it's effects and all of that. And it, it just brings you to a point where you just have to put yourself in a shell. Okay. So I feel we need so to work on So I'll read this and then you will get this. Mm. It says from Elvis. Elvis says that, I think I like the fact that Manu has refused to die. Traitors are everywhere, but there is always God. Mm -hmm. Lobby from Cameroon. We love you, Cameroon. Thank you. <laughs> so, yes, we have traitors everywhere. Mm. But the thing is, how do we identify them as traitors? Hmm. 
I still stand by my point okay. that mm -hmm. one, if you observe carefully, mm -hmm. you may you just may find these people out. Okay. Also, I think that another another thing that might help us is to understand that not everybody will like you in this world. Mm. Some of us walk around thinking that, oh, as for me, my heart is pure, my mind is pure. So everybody in this world is like that. No. Even Jesus Christ, after doing all that good. No matter how likable or lovable or uh, innocent or sweet you are, <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> Not everybody will like you, and you have to understand that, and that's okay. Okay. But you see, the, the point is that do not let people take you for granted. And mm. I mean, yeah, people, I mean, the Bible says we must forgive, uh, blah, blah, blah. I mean, we're trying to be good Christians and all that. We're practicing all that. But as much as possible, do not put yourself in a situation where people can take you for granted. People can walk over you. Okay. All right. So I'm going to read from Aquasi's contribution. This is what he said. He said, it is, it is not easy to see friends who always bite you because such friends are always with you to know your next move. Mm -hmm. That's true, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and then he said, in, because you're chatting with them, as in the case of um, Patia, the, the priest who yeah. died some mm. time ago, and then um, the betrayal of the royal family. Mm. We, we've said this, I mean, a little while ago, that these are people that you mingle with. You eat with them. You share your secret issues. I mean, mm -hmm. things that... You're, you're so comfortable around mm -hmm. them. So once you identify this person, how do you treat them? That's why I just said you just need to, to give them the space they need. No. How? This is somebody that, mm -hmm. no matter what you do, the person is, in your is like a lich. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. how do you handle them? He's been the best friend. of. I mean, don't forget that they also have their good side. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. How do you handle them? Do you have to just call the person, sit the person down and tell him, look, you did this, 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 I didn't like, or just, as you said, cut them off? Well, telling him the very first time you did this and I didn't like it mm -hmm. would, would not mean a thing to him because he's, he's there to destroy or she's there to destroy. So I believe when you find out you have a person, I, we want to talk about cutting the, pe the person out, eh? It doesn't mean you see the person and like asking you want to go and get into a fight. Cutting the person out is you see the person somewhere, you say hello and you move on. Mm -hmm. You don't have to build that rapport you used to have where you sit down when you have a discussion and you tell them everything about yourself, your family and all of that. It doesn't really add up when you are trying to get yourself out of such a situation. If you keep keeping, the, as you said, keeping them in your circle, that is where they get more um, time and they get more schemes to actually hurt you. But if I cut you out and I take my time, to uh, see you somewhere and I go like hello like I have a problem with you or, or you and I see you and I go like hello and you say hello right back and we move on it doesn't spoil anything I think he's talking as for well. guys let's talk for <laughs> girls as for us aka 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 we'll try it we'll so no, not guys, talk guys what I mean, guys, guys do aka is deadly goodness. it's deadly you know are you sure yes guys easily it's very move deadly on blood. but we, yeah. we we find it very how as I mean as a lady a woman as you are how would you be able to move on from a friend who has stabbed you so hard, you don't want to like have that um, quiet mm. moment all the time, but talk. How do you move? Cut them off. Totally. Like, no, like women. Oh, no. I mean, that is after telling them. <laughs> Your peace of mind. Yes. That is after telling them that, you know, after. All that we've been through, you know, we, we've, you've, you, you know me through and through. I have, I have told you some of the deepest things I've never told anyone. You've been my friend, blah, blah, blah. And you had the guts to stab me in the back. Okay. And this, for this reason, I cannot, you know, be friends with you anymore. Because mm -hmm. as, he, as he said, this person, you're giving this person more, more space or more leverage on you. Because they are, each day they are learning more and more about you. So cut them off. Okay, cut them off. But we see Manu giving these Britishers space all the time. I mean, not space, I think avoiding them, mm -hmm. forgiving them all the time. Good. I think forgiving mm -hmm. them is quite different from cutting the person off. Okay. Manu has gotten a lot of chance or time to actually finish these people off mm -hmm. and have her, her jancy and move on. <clears throat> Sorry, but she tries as much as possible to be on that end of always forgiving. Always on that end. Because, you know, true leaders or people who actually leave marks and legacies are people that know how to actually forgive in every circumstance. And I, I always come back to the point of Nelson Mandela because this is one, one person who could forgive people that even treated him in the worst possible way. So forgiveness for, for, for Manu's end is something I think is, is very legendary. 
and uh, a lot of people should learn from because it's it's not easy myself i think if i was in that mm -hmm. situation and I, would, I would have just taken people like i think it would just be a, a good time to kill people and, and see how it's like to shed blood of people that have actually shed blood of people i love so it's, it's quite difficult i mean if, well <laughs> go ahead for <laughs> for you as a leader <laughs> that might be easy to do because you know they are they are living for higher virtues mm -hmm. of of uh, peace and togetherness and you know in order for peace to prevail let me give the people another chance let me um for the for the sake of peace of my people let me give this people sorry some of us are not leaders <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. no. But, but we, we, we've spoken a number of times over here how you need to forgive people and oh, yes. to move on. Mm -hmm. So even if you're not a leader, shouldn't you forgive? Oh, yes. I mean, forgiveness, there's, there's no two ways about that. Mm -hmm. Ideally, that's what it's supposed to be. <laughs> you know, <laughs> forgive people. But forgiving people does not mean that you have to put yourself in a situation where they can hurt you again. And again. Those are different things. Okay. So forgive people and, you know, tomorrow they come and say, oh, let's have lunch in my... No, 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 no. <laughs> forgive you, but you go your way, go my way. We see you, we see each other. Oh, hi, hi. We're not having lunch or breakfast. Mm -hmm. We're not uh, sitting down and drinking tea together. No. Do you get what I mean? I do. Like, there's forgiveness, mm -hmm. and then there's not allowing, not putting yourself in a situation where that, that person can hurt you again. again. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm talking about. You know, what she said, um, sometimes too, it's so hard to um, see the person and say hi. Or even though I've been citing, <laughs> yeah, I've been citing that because some people can hurt you deep mm -hmm. to the extent you see the person and, like, I, I, you don't know, your day is just about to, to come to an end. Like, you the don't know what to do. Them. You see the person and it's like you remember Mm. everything the person has done to you and you feel the pain again and so seeing a person constantly would actually even weaken you <laughs> it's, it's it's hard people like that think for me i'll just uh, you need you need to see a counselor because it's not easy <laughs> yes it's not easy to to forgive somebody who has hurt you for example someone that you you had a baby and somebody actually poisoned this child and you got to find out how would you great and this is a friend of yours it's hard to forgive this is a, a child you've been suffering to have for years and you finally have a child and the child is, is killed by that somebody person. close. You, you, it's, it's hurting and it's hard mm. to forgive such people. I mean, you see, um, I mean, that example is, you know, quite extreme. Mm -hmm. But just imagine, okay, that you're in an office setting and you go for a meeting or the bosses go for a meeting and, you know, you've been recommended for a certain position and someone you think is your friend goes in that same meeting and is, you know, downplaying you, mm. giving she it, she I don't think she can do the job, okay. you know, that, that's more relatable to us. And that's, that's more, because this is someone that you'd, <laughs> okay, so we saw <laughs> where today, <laughs> we saw where today, Nelson actually dressed like the king, mm -hmm. Ganga because he was in his garments. Living in a fantasy. Exactly. <laughs> So then I ask, do we sometimes have people who wish to be at so will continue to stab us? Of course. Yeah. Every day. Uh, you, you see the constant. Like they want what you, you have. have. <laughs> so they would always come Every back. day. Every day. It happens. People, people sometimes, I keep saying them, people that actually hate you are fans on the down low. Mm. They actually like what you're doing, but uh, they don't know how to go about it. They don't know how to actually get themselves. They don't even understand how you come about what you're doing. And so they actually like it. They sit down and they, 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 they are like, Shani Nimbi. I think they see you on TV and go like, Shani Nimbi. But they're like, hey, but I say, girl, no, Natalia, Phil. You get it. It's just something that people are used to doing. We like to badmouth people. We like to make people feel less. We like to treat people badly. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, these are people that are actually making a difference. And we wish we could. People that break modes are people that a lot of people don't actually like. Mm -hmm. When you do things that are actually different and in a special way and needs recognition, you get a lot of people that will treat you like what you're doing is wrong. Okay. And so for me, I think it's, it's something that people's eyes should be open to. Okay. And I think today's um, chat room is so interesting. We want you to come in. You can join us via phone lines and then you make your contributions. And we see what you've learned today. Let's go on. <laughs> mm. So you see, apart from uh, people, you know, as you said, being below you, wanting mm -hmm. to be like you, I think that there are also people above you who look at you and say, 
the way this person is fast rising if i give that if person i the give chance. that person the chance he or she is going to overtake me soon but you see that's the sort of mentality that brings people down oh. imagine that you notice someone is doing very well and you give the person a hand and pull the person up with you one day you can stand somewhere and see that Ah, I made this person, or I contributed to yeah. this person. Do Isn't that more fulfilling? That are ready to are ready to mentor. Yes, yes. Do we, we still have, have we, we have do, have but that's like three out of ten. Whoa. And you know the problem too comes down to the people that are actually going to be mentored, as in the mentees. We sort Before of you, are ungrateful. You we have Joy from Nigeria. Hi, Joy. Good evening. How are you? I am blessed. Yourself. Joy, go ahead. Yes. Go ahead with your contribution. Um, um, yeah, I'm glad I got, uh, I got. Oh, Joy, we lost you. <laughs> um, hi, Liam from Kumase. Hi, Ayura. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Go ahead with your contribution. Yeah. Hmm. In fact, I love the discussion that your panelists are. Uh, uh, the, the way the discussion is going on, in fact, I like it. Thank but you. What, I, what I've learned today mm -hmm. is that God has a way of making people who, whom uh, he, he, he wants them to be. Mm -hmm. Imagine how this lady and then the soldiers, I, I mean Manu and the soldiers were being trapped into that should I say cave or whatever? Tunnel, the tunnel. It is. The, yes, that is it is. But because uh, because of determination, Manu was able to find a way out that even nobody uh, 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 should I say that of uh, Nelson was very surprised upon seeing that of the queen. Exactly. And I was very. I, I said, in fact, God is a God. And <laughs> any time you put your trust in God, there is no way God can ever fail you. Thank you very much and a very good evening to you. Thank you so much for your contribution. Did you hear that? Yeah. God always has a way of yeah. giving people a second chance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Alima. Good evening and you're welcome. Thank you. Alima, go ahead. I can hear you. Okay. And please turn off the uh, sound on your TV. English. Ah, I'm say. Okay. I'm say. Manu, Manu, you so omo papa. Me pa de ka se ba di sa we hu se na ta fu na be no no hwe ni hu ye pa en se e si a de ma ye ni na e se o hu wa ta fu o be o en so ta fu na da so be no e en se en se en so ya mi be yi na ma en so ai to o bo an so en so o ku no en so ya mi na ka ma no hu o nya o ku duro e me ye mre no so sa e mre na mo de ye ba ye no e sa en se ka me ka no no yeah, that's in your Misha. Um, essentially, what she's saying is, is um, Manu is a very courageous person, mm -hmm. and then God is with her, and so. But then we should be very careful because those who are very close to us are actually those that are hurting us the more. My and point. Exactly, and that was a very yeah. That's a strong um, submission, insightful. and then very because educated. you see, and back, back, back to uh, the story. Mm -hmm. If you set a plan mm -hmm. and then the next moment you realize that the plan is uh, somebody Some has people, found out, you yeah. know, it's, it, I mean, it, it will just, come it to you. How did they find out? It must be someone from it's your inside. inside. But Elijah, mm. should, sh that means that Manu is actually not learning because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. she still finds out that her issues are out there, but still she, she just doesn't pay attention to it. You know, I feel she's before before, before you go okay. on. Ethel is on the line. Ethel, good evening. Good evening. You're welcome. Thank you. You're absolutely looking great. Thank you. 
And you also sound so great. Oh, thank you. You know what? Go ahead. I think Manu has a lot to learn. Because mm -hmm. I, I don't think you have to keep repeating. You've been forgiven and you get the same result. So change. You okay. understand? Mm -hmm. If you are tackling a problem with one particular solution and it's not working out, you must know there is something you're mm -hmm. doing wrong. The Bible did talk about forgiveness. But if it is always about forgiveness, my sister, God will not leave the Israelites to war. He would have asked them to forgive. Okay. I don't know if I make sense. You do. But um, it's just a movie, but I think I'm getting mad at my <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Oh don't worry. We, we, we also sometimes get so mad at her, but hey, ah, we're learning I mean, our lessons. You, you've even lost your husband out of mm. the same forgiveness thing. You know, no. he's given Nelson too many chances. And it, this applies to our everyday life. You understand? Mm -hmm. You forgive somebody. Don't give the person room to be mm -hmm. able to affect your life, whether positive or negative. Mm -hmm. If you forgive somebody and that person thinks, um, I'm now repented and all, go and touch the other like, not mine. You understand? <laughs> you draw the barrier clear. The person starts. You don't allow people to define your life for you mm -hmm. by allowing them to have a say. You understand? I don't know if I make sense, but you do. I don't want to think why. Well, thank you so much. Hi, Julius. Good evening. Evening. You're welcome to the show. Thank you very much for allowing me in today. Oh, you're welcome. Thank by your you. submission. Uh, yeah. Uh, this movie, I want to say, is full of a lot of lessons. Mm hmm so people are talking of forgiveness and so on by as for me personally it has reminded me of how the white men came to africa took advantage of us and then they took all our resources away and until today that thing is still going on we still have some gold in the mind <laughs> <laughs> go ahead julius yeah and then also uh, today we are all complaining about uh, government that they are not doing well, so blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But if you see what's going on, the lady is trying to do all possible means so that his so that her people will be free from the white people. But there are people among from his own, uh, her own people who are giving her problem again. Mm -hmm. So maybe you might be complaining that, oh, today MPP is not doing well. But the fact of the matter may be that the president himself is doing well, but there are people in his government Mm -hmm. that are preventing him from doing the right thing. Okay. So that, that's the lesson I've learned so far in, in a movie. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Julius. Thank you. And mm. um, you? Yeah, I was, I was on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead. Yes. Yeah, so what were we talking about? I, we're talking uh, yeah, about sure. everything so that I was, I was, I was, I was like, um, when you're in a situation where you have to always, as I like what the, the, the caller said, was like yeah. change. Change. You get it. When you think it's going to be something that is consistent, is going to hurt you, you should just uh, withdraw from the forgiven aspect and try as much as possible to, I don't want to say hate, but let that spacing be there. You know, it all boils down to the point where it, it's all about you, mm -hmm. not to be selfish, but no. you can always put people's happiness before yours all the time. Mm -hmm. Even though you have to make sure people are happy around you and all of that, but it all boils down to you at the end of the day. How do you feel? How do you feel about yourself? Your emotions can't be fixed by another person. You need to fix that yourself. So Manu, Manu I think she, she thinks so much for people and she even loses herself in that. Hasn't she, she by now? She has. She has. I, and I, I'm so sad about the fact that, uh, like we were saying, you know you have an insider, someone who takes information out. She's so smart to be able to deal with um, situations and let go at the end. But I don't know why it's taking us so long to be able to, to tell hmm. who is that. Should we always have a limit of trusting? How, I mean, how far we can trust? Or should we just allow it? Well, um, Aunt Lebo White said uh, something once. He said that, there has to be that one friend that you can always go to okay. and talk to. It's, it's important, it's necessary. But of course, you have to know who you talk to. It's very important as well, trusting who you should trust. There should always be a limit to who you can trust, 
Do we have that one person today, as you said, to trust? Yes, we do. We do. Do you have a friend that you can trust? Yes. If that's one person. You see, and as I, I come back to my point, mm -hmm. if we notice, we, if we pay attention, we will know who we can trust and mm -hmm. who we cannot trust. Mm -hmm. Honest, to be honest. To be honest. I feel, I feel some of us are gifted at telling who is two-faced and who is not. Because when, when someone, someone walks into your space, you should be able to tell from the actions, like she's saying, and how the person moves about around you. Like she stated earlier on, discussing other people around you and all of that. I mean, I feel like when I see someone who is not being real with me, or someone that is not there to actually help me grow as a person, it, it, it comes to me naturally. I feel it. And okay. I take time to you know get to know I'm that. You know I'm smiling? <laughs> I'm trying to... Uh, bring it to relationship mm. where a guy walks up to you and tells you, oh, you are the lily of the valley. Mm -hmm. I love you. <laughs> You're my Helen of Troy. You see? <laughs> and then you fall for the guy mm. only to find out the guy is a two-faced. But you're so deeply in love, but mm. you can't go. How do you deal with such a situation? Hmm. As for that, it's a whole topic. <laughs> <laughs> because because I, mean, I keep asking, do we have that one person we have to trust? Paying attention and all. Oh, but I mean, that's that's... If we're talking about friendship, that's mm -hmm. relatively different from a love relationship. Okay. That's more difficult. Okay, because so then the once you're issue. in love, it blinds all your senses. <laughs> <laughs> once you're in love with someone, it blinds all your senses. Mm -hmm. And it's more difficult uh, to notice such a person. But I don't know. Charlie. How can we tell that a guy standing before me now, mm -hmm. I mean we the ladies, mm. is actually lying to me yeah, that he can, loves you me? You can't tell. <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> That's why I keep saying it's 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 all boils down to you. Okay. You should be able to tell when someone is playing with your feelings and emotions. You shouldn't okay. let people take it for granted. All so right. if someone walks up to you and he's telling you all of the sweetest things and you don't do your background check and you feel like okay, you found yourself some prince of England and so you want to move <laughs> on, it's definitely gonna be like that. All right, thank you so much guys for coming. Thank it's you been so a pleasure. Much. I love you, so you guys. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you and well. thank you too for coming and I've I've learned a lot, but one thing that runs through is that you should always pay attention. And then when you are doing the same thing all over and over again, you expect nothing but the same result. So if something is not working out well, change the tactic, right? Um, thank you to our sponsors, FC Beauty Products, Indomie Instant Noodles, Today Ladies Wash, CB Men and Women Capsules, Peg Biscuit, Cold White, Clinic Hair Relaxer, anti marriage Gripe Water, Heaven's Mosquito Quell, Calipo, Gino Tomato Paste, Onga, Royal King Crackers, Cerelac, V Firm, Ernest Ointment, Veraldo, Royal Feast Perfume Rice, and Zedek Cough Mist Syrup. And thank you at home for joining us. And thanks to Edmudad Salon for my beautiful hair. See you same time tomorrow. Good night.